Yesterday on the show, we introduced you to Bonnie and Cassie, and they are experts at wrapping gifts. Well, today we wanted to talk about wrapping gifts, but not the standard box-shaped gifts. We want to get into some of these really unusual gifts. So, hello again. Hello. Thank you so much Thanks for coming for having back. Us. Well, welcome back. So, um, so okay. yesterday, real quick though, we want right. to make sure everybody understands it. Yesterday, all of those great tips are still up on our Facebook page. We have the segment. So all of those great tutorials, because I think the biggest thing I learned yesterday was about making that one crease. Yes. I think I will never, ever struggle with wrapping again. That's how yes. good you are. It's so helpful. <laughs> well, look at these things. How yeah, in the this world? This is what we have today. Um, my daughter loves this show. Um, we have a huge stuffed animal, and then boys love this these swords and anything that can hit people with really. <laughs> um, so the easiest thing for professionally wrapped gifts is to put it in a box. And I know that sounds so boring, but with kids, I guess the anticipation is, I guess, worth it. So when they see something in a box, and they like a big box, and then they open it up, and they're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that, you know? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do is this will just fit inside this box. And now these boxes, we just went to the dollar store or Walmart, and they just have tons of boxes, boxes. everywhere. You're so it's free. Yeah. free, free, yeah. Free. So if you don't, need, if you run out of things, um, those big boxes are expensive. If you go to the UPS exactly. store yeah. or somewhere else, and sure. pay for a box. I literally took this out of the aisle at Walmart, and it fits perfectly. Right. So uh, because what else are they going to do with it? Break it down? Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. So, I, I like this because you know rather than try to tackle this, you just solve the problem. You put right. a box around it, and it's no yep. longer a hard thing. And then thing. you wrap and it up. Back to your basics right. again. Okay. So that's for this. Um, and you go ahead with the sword. Now, you know it's not very exciting if you're four <laughs> <laughs> to come down on Christmas morning and find this under the tree. It's pretty obvious what that might be. You know, it's some it's kind of a bat right, right. Yeah. to hit somebody with. Instead, why not disguise it in a big box? You got a five dollar uh -huh. gift in a big box. Little kids love. The bigger the box, the better the present. That is true. Doesn't matter yeah. how much the present costs. So instead so, of stressing over the perfect absolutely. fit, yeah. you just right. took that out of the equation. Put it in a box, <laughs> or go wrap home. it easily. Everybody it. orders online. You've got packing, but I bet nobody knew that Walmart bags, grocery store bags, can serve as packing. Wait, 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 wait. So you just kind of blew this up and tied it in a knot, and it's your packing? Yeah. She's going to tie it in a knot. Tie it in a knot first. Oh, okay. Get it semi tight, open up one little hole, and then tie it. tie it. Okay, bonus learning right there. All right. That's great. You don't have to go pay for expensive packing. If you don't have it, blow up some bags so that it doesn't rattle and they can't figure out what it is. It's all about the anticipation. And Bonnie, well, can you go into your background? Sorry, because uh, it's generations and generations of um, gift well, wrapping my, and packing. Yes, it, we had to learn this by virtue of who birthed me <laughs> and then her and her baby's outside and she'll have to learn. My mom wrapped for 40, 50 years for a major department store in Minneapolis and she made the most beautiful bows and things that you wouldn't even think of. She made roses and pine cones and all kinds. She was in the Minneapolis Star Tribune many times for her gift wrapping capability. I am not that good. <laughs> I'm not but either. I tried. So, um, if people would like to learn how to make some of these bows, I have done some videos. They're on my website at ewebpo.com. Go to the blog page. And there's just sort of a little Christmas tribute to her there. Oh, that's very nice. What a wonderful tradition to pass down. And I love the fact that you take it so seriously and it is such an art form. And absolutely going to go scavenge for some free boxes here over the next uh, couple of weeks. That's a great that, that idea. That is so yeah. brilliant. My Thank you. Are we done? My husband, um, he kept, he, when we were doing this, he's like, just grab some tin foil and wrap it up. Like, no, 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 no. He's like, it's shiny. Like, no, you married into that. the wrong family. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> As a guy, that's pretty cool. I, I, would, I would be drawn He's to like, that. it molds around anything. Right, yeah. Like, no. It could get kind of costly, though, right? right? And then we're also we're going to have this segment as well on Facebook. So if anybody wants to see, you know, again, all these pointers, you could visit our page too as well. And, and if you have really big items that, you know, the boxes are just too big, yeah. I have used contractor bags, you know, trash bags, mm -hmm. the big ones. Um, or if it's something like a bike or something really big, 
Just put a bow on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, too. Some things you just can't disguise. Just put a bow on it. <laughs> put, put it in a box, it. put a bow on it. <laughs> And then oh, always, always the thought is what really counts anyway Absolutely. in the first place. Thank yeah. you both so yeah, much for being here. Thank you.